Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up and Makeup chat. Oh, it's good to see you. Well, it's good to talk with you. I wish I could see you. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, I can't. We can just chat. If you are watching this on replay, then just know that I'm going to take a second to say hello to the people that are here. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And it looks like there's a commercial before the show, so I don't know if people can even see me yet. But we're going to go ahead and start. Hi, Sandra. And hello to Louise and to Dance and to, I know Dance, you told me your real name. You told me where else I could find you and I forgot. Uh, hello, Flavio. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Louise. Uh, and hello, Lee. Good to see you guys. So, hope everybody is ready to talk about, oh, hello, Robin. Um, I hope everybody's ready to talk about some lip products. Uh, let's get a confirmation from the room that you guys can see me. Hi, Jackie. I hope the commercial's over by now. <laughs> and hopefully you can hear me and see me okay. Let's go ahead and get started about some lipstick. Yes. Hi, Jesse. Uh, Yesenia, what do I call you? I don't even know. I've called you Yesenia forever, and then I realized that people call you Jess. So, you know, we'll get there. But before we get there, we're going to have some coffee. I'm really happy that uh, Sandra's here today because Sandra is my resident lip expert. She helps me with all things lips, and I help her with eye stuff. So we kind of work. Ooh. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm reading comments. <laughs> so, Sandra, you're going to have to help me with this. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lee, I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not feeling too great, but we're going to make it. I took some day quill and we're pushing through. So let's talk about some lip stuff. So lip stuff, let me just tell you a little history of me and lips, all right? I avoided doing anything with my lips other than lip balm because lips scare me. Like doing too bold of a lip freaks me out. Like I feel like people are going to look at me like what in the world is going on there? So it's taken me a lot of time to get some confidence in actually putting a brighter color on my lips. It's taken a really long time to figure out how to do it, what colors look best on me. And now finally, I'm feeling a bit more confident, partially thanks to Sandra. And um, and yeah, so now I own a lot of lip products. I pulled out all of my lip products uh, so that we can go ahead and chat about all the different things. Your screen is green. What? That's weird. Nikki gave up caring. Um, yeah, I mean, oh no, you can, you can hear me, but you can't see me. Hit, try to hit refresh dance. Oh, hello, Tabitha. Is this doing the post twice thing? I hope not, Tabitha. Hopefully it's just posting once. That's what I'm hoping. We shall see. All right, so let's talk about lip stuff. So where I started was with the better than the My Lips But Better colors. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite My Lips But Better colors. I have the microphone here in my lap, so I'm going to try not to drop it. That's the goal. So some of my favorite My Lips But Better colors. Where did my one go that I definitely wanted to show you? I pulled it out specifically. Hold up. Here's one. Here's two. Um, um, well, let's just start with these. Let's just start with these two. So, if you have never discovered the Revlon kissable balm stains and all of these things, they are so fabulous. Like, they're really, really nice. I'm sorry. I just start, I hope there's no problems with viewing this. So, hold on a second. Okay. Okay. All right. Anyway, so these things are so amazing. This happens to be a matte balm in the shade Elusive. Yes, Elusive. Let me go ahead and swatch that for you. It is so fabulous. Like, it is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. This one's a little bit pink for me, but I really, really like it a lot. The other one I really like a lot, I believe, is called Honey, and it's from the original... Um, it's from the original line of Kissable Balm Stains. That thing is amazing. Such a wonderful, wonderful shade. For high end, this uh, Marc Jacobs shade in Eat Cake is really beautiful for me. I'll go ahead and show you that. I got a couple of old swatches that don't come off. Um, this one is beautiful as well. I really love that one a lot. Ironically, I'm not wearing any lip products today. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup yet. I just uh, got out of bed not that long ago. So, you know, we're rolling with it. 
Uh, this is another one from the drugstore that's amazing. It's called Airy Fairy by Rimmel. This one's a beautiful, beautiful shade for my lips, but better. I would love to know what you guys think as far as, um, as we'll talk about the, okay. I would love to know what you guys think about what your favorite My Lips But Better shades are. It would be awesome to hear what you guys think about that. I think uh, those of you that are concerned about the double posting thing, I think it's when I create the event that everybody gets a notification and then when it goes live, uh, it, you get another notification. I don't believe it's actually posting twice. I think it's just two notifications. That's my guess. Uh, about a half an hour goes when I created the event. So let's go back to lip products. Um, Nikki says she loves Too Faced Spice Spice Baby. That is one that I do not own. Um, I own Naughty Nude for neuter, nudier ones, and I own Naked Dolly. Now, Naked Dolly is a little bit too pale for me. Uh, maybe someone with a lighter skin tone would be able to pull this one off uh, as on my lips but better, but this one is way too light for me personally. And the thing about my lips but better too is it really just depends a lot on what your skin tone is because if you have a deep skin tone these are not my lips but better on you these are pink so this is just my recommendations for my skin tone I, I only have one skin tone so I can't, um, you know I can only recommend for me uh, let's see I'm reading some comments here uh, Robin says she loves Maybelline's lust for blush that's a really good one um, is her lips but better shade I would love to hear from someone from a deep with a deep skin tone to see what you love um, Minnie Me, she says she loves Wet and Wild Bear at all. She is a medium skin tone. She loves that one. Uh, this is one that's good. This one is Too Faced Naughty Nude. This one is a little light for me for my lips, but better, but it is a really nice shade. I really like that one a lot. Another good one that's kind of a classic is NARS's Dolce Vita. I'm going to be all swatched up by the end of this video. NARS's Dolce Vita is very sheer, though. Just be aware of that. It's very sheer. Um, Flavio says Urban Decay's Fiend is her favorite. Um, I do not know that one, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> I do like the Urban Decay lipsticks quite a bit. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any other before we move on to another topic. Let's see if there's any other ones. Uh, let's see. Vicky says she, her light skin tone. She likes Max's faux Mac Max Mac from Mac. The shade faux. We're just gonna say it like that. Um, and it, yeah, Nikki says she's sitting here making a list. I'm reading you the chat window that's over on the side of my screen because if you're watching this pre-recorded, you're not gonna be able to see what everyone's saying. So I'm reading it back to you. Nikki says she's sitting making a list, which is what I'm gonna do once I watch this replayed. <laughs> Amber Moss wants to know. Um, she said, uh, Jen, I'm off topic, but I'll forget if I don't mention it now. Okay, I'll wait for you. Kiki says, I just passed by to say hi. I'm leaving for church. I hope it was a blessed day. No, Kiki, don't go. Tell me your butt lips but better shade. What's your favorite lips but better shade before you leave? But she's like a little bit deeper of a skin tone. Um, let's see. Flavio says, Too Faced Spice Spice Baby is amazing. Mini Me, she also says uh, Ofra's Pasadena is a good one. Ofra really makes some wonderful lip products. If you don't know the brand Ofra, they're really pretty fab. Um, Anaconia says she doesn't have one, but she loves Cream Cup by MAC on her lips. She is of a lighter skin tone. Amber Moss says she found a dupe for Urban Decay's 1993. Let me know what it is, Amber. Um, Lee says she recently tried Steelist Patina, and it's a beautiful My Lips But Better shade for me. And then Sandra says, don't think I own in your lips, but better shade, LOL, because Sandra wears bright, crazy lips. She's she's amazing. That's her thing. She's got these just beautiful lips, and she just shows them off. All right, so let's go ahead and move on from my lips, but better. And let's go ahead and talk about, uh, what should we talk about? Should we talk about formulas, or should we talk about drugstores? Should we talk about high-end? Should we talk about liquid lipsticks? What should we do? Um, Nikki also agrees that patina is good. Hello, Krista from, um, oh, 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 mymonthlyobsessions.com. So good to see you. I'm so glad that you're here. She said she almost forgot about it. All right. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? Uh, let's talk about some liquid lipsticks formulas. Um, it sends twice because the first one is the announcement that I, I did a little earlier than I normally do. The first, <laughs> I was wondering why I got the video twice. It's because I, I, I started the uh, the chat early. I made the announcement that the chat was coming early. So that's why it's sent twice. Um, but it won't post twice. I don't think it will. <laughs> oh, 
know. You guys have to give more details on that later. Sandra says, go red or go back to bed. I'm a snot. <laughs> uh, Robin says, I only own drugstore lippies. Is there really better formulas than high end? They're so expensive. That's a great question. Uh, personally, I feel like there can be. Um, I think there are some really great drugstore lipsticks out there. But I feel like with drugstore lipstick, they tend to get hard and dry faster than high-end lipsticks. That's just my personal opinion. I also sometimes um, they're more likely to have that lipstick smell than the um, the higher-end lipsticks. Uh, so I do feel like there is a formula difference in lipsticks. Where I feel like with mascaras, you can get just the same thing. I was reading um, on the What's Been Makeup app, someone was raving in the review section about the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and how amazing it is. I'm telling you, that mascara is $4 and it's just as good as every single high-end mascara that I own. But anyway, my point is, back to lips, that I really do feel like there's a difference between a lot of high-end lipsticks and drugstore lipsticks. Um, let me see. Oh, okay, here we go. So Kiki says, Bear All by Wet n Wild, Color Pops Beeper mixed with Midi. Uh, she is of a... Um, like a deeper skin, no, not super deep, but like kind of deepish, deepish. I don't know how you describe, <laughs> you know, shades of deep. <laughs> um, let's see. Amber says it's not matte, but spot on otherwise. Maybelline Color Sensationals Touchable Taupe. She really likes. Um, and she looks like she is of like my skin tone, maybe. Um, Lily says hello. Hello to Lily. Good morning, Flory. Well, avail Comments were unavailable to me for the first 15 minutes. So weird. Um, Dan says, I have a question. I'm a male and I need to get some lipstick for play I'm doing because I'm playing a female character. Any recommendations? It will really depend on your skin tone. A lot of the shades we've already talked about would be great for you. Um, so definitely check those out. You want to go for more of a matte finish because that shiny finish may look a little weird. So anything that says matte finish would probably be good for you. Um, Amber says, um, I power it, powder it to make it mad, and that's something you can definitely do. Gold Digger says, finally got in the chat. Good morning. Yeah, there seems like be a lot of people having trouble getting in the chat this morning. You were not the only one. Uh, Ashley says, hello. Hello to Ashley. And then Minnie Mishi says, she loves Wet n' Wild's Bear at All compared to Max Velvet Teddy. It just doesn't last as long. Aviva La Juicy 03, good morning to you. It's okay. Oh, there's a lot of people that are having trouble getting in this morning. Let's go ahead and talk about some liquid lipsticks. We just talked about, well, your lips, but better. Let's talk about some liquid lipsticks. Hello, Amy. Um, she, oh, Kiki also says she loves the love, love I'm Shade W5 in L'Oreal. I, I miss, I'm not quite getting the progression there, but I'm sure people can decode that. Uh, Sandra says Max Twig. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about some liquid lipstick. So the first formula I want to talk about is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. Um, these are a very strange for me. It's a really weird formula for me. They um, they come out of this little puffy thing here. This is where the product comes out, and it ends up drying pretty matte, in my opinion. Um, there's and and it lasts for a while, but then it starts crackling off my lips and drying. I don't know if anybody else has the same problem with these, but I don't like the way they wear. I usually feel like I need a lip balm in order to um, get these to work. But I, I really am not the biggest fan of this formula. I got one of the melted uh, metal ones, and those I did not. I I liked them a lot at first. The one that I got, I got the melted. Um, it's the corally one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Let me see if I have it here, if I have somewhere else. You know, I think it's in my purse. But I, I tried it, and I just, I'm not feeling it anymore. It's the crackling. It really bothers me. Um, Amy's talking about the Gem and the Holograms lipstick that just came out on Sephora's website. That thing is so gorgeous, but there's no way that I would ever wear that color. It's insane. Um, Anya says she doesn't like the Too Faced. Anakania says Too Faced melted lippies, but they end up on her teeth. Yuck. Um, definitely Christo, check out mymonthlyobsessions.com for her website. Um, Nikki says Too Faced melted are not long wearing, but I love them still. She likes Fig and Chihuahua. The, the thing that freaks me out is it's called Melted Chihuahua. And just the visual on that is totally disturbing to me. Like, I can't even take a visual on Melted Chihuahua. Like, it's just... There's something just inherently wrong about that that lipstick name. I just can't even take it. Um, but this formula is definitely not my favorite. Um, I feel like they last pretty well, but they flake off, you know? Oh, my goodness. Tabitha says that the gem lipstick is already out of stock. That's crazy. I'm not surprised, but it's crazy. And you know it won't be back. When Sephora runs out of stuff, they don't, it don't come back. Um, 
Kiki says, I love those OMG. I have like seven shades. They're amazing. My favorite color is sand and peony. She's talking about these, the bright colors. Um, also, the bright colors before I wear, I prep my lip with balm because it's drying. Yes. I think that's a smart way to wear these is with balm underneath. Um, Vicky says she has the same experience as what I said about the um, about the crackliness. Um, and then Anya says it's animal cruelty. I think these are cruelty free. The Too Faced products are cruelty free. Uh, Lisa says they should have thought they should have thought that through. Yeah, I mean, I think that you, you when you get a formula, I can't even imagine how hard it is to develop a lipstick formula. Like I can't even imagine. Um, there's a lot of things to consider. A lot of things. Uh, let's see. Okay, favorite liquid lipstick, Ashley says. That's a great segue into my favorite liquid lipstick. My favorite formulas, I have two favorite formulas. And this is the thing is I don't, I'll tell you this ahead of time, I don't mind the dryingness of a liquid lipstick. It doesn't bother me as long as it doesn't flake off. If it starts flaking off, you've lost me. Like that, that's where you lose me. So, um, oh, Leslie's talking about pink chocolate from Too Faced. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. All right, I'm going to ignore the chat for just a second and tell you about my favorite liquid lipsticks. I'm, not, I'm trying to stay focused here. So I do really love the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I really like this formula a lot. Um, but there is a formula that I honestly like better. And people are probably going to be like, what? And that is the ColourPop formula. I genuinely like the ColourPop formula the best out of all the liquid lipstick formulas that I've tried. Now, I've seen reviews of the ColourPop liquid lipsticks where they talk about how the formula is very inconsistent. I must just got, have gotten just very lucky in the ones that I've gotten because for me, the formula has not been inconsistent. It's been pretty awesome. Um, and, and yeah, the Ultra Mask, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they're pretty amazing for me. I'll tell you which ones that I own. Um, hopefully this is all of them. I don't believe that it is. I, you know, I leave things around places. I leave things around places and then, you know, things happen to stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more. Here we go. I found them. Hold on. I just dropped one. Just a second. All right. Pull my, pull my microphone back up. Because last couple weeks ago, I forgot to pull my, my microphone back up, and it sounded like doo-doo. Okay. So these are the ones that I have, and you can see that there's a trend in the shades. I've kind of stepped out of my comfort zone in two of them, but other than that, they're essentially from the same family. So let's talk about the ones that I have that are loud and obnoxious and awesome. And then we'll talk about the ones that are typical for me. All right. Stay. Stay, I tell you. Okay. So here we go. So these two, I have Ouija and I have Drive-In. I have never worn Drive-In, and I should. Um, Amy said, do I have a P.O. box? I have a address that is on my, um, it's on my page, my YouTube page, my About Me page, but it's not right. I have to update it. Um, it's my husband's tattoo studio um, address, but it's the wrong address. We, he just moved the shop. Uh, let me do this. Let's do this. Let's put it here. So here's Ouija bright and crazy but it looks gorgeous i do have some videos where i wore this and you'll see it glowing from the thumbnail like totally see it glowing um i hear that some people are saying kat von d color pop and uh stila are her favorites from anya yeah the stila i like but i don't like their color range they need a better color range um they need more wearable colors for me like ones that i can wear to work so that one here is drive-in again i've never worn that one because it freaks me out but i want to step out of my comfort zone and wear it and we'll show you a couple more. These are the ones that are more me. Uh, this one's Beeper. I wear this for filming all the time, and I love it. I love it, love it. Here's Beeper. It's just that gorgeous brown. And this was the one that Kiki was talking about was a good lip for her lip, your lips, but better for her, mixed with Midi, which I don't own. Um, but I really love that one. That one go, really goes very well with the whole brown lip trend. Uh, it's going, it really fits well with that. This one is called Clueless. This one came from their second set of uh, liquid lipsticks that they released. And that one's got some brown undertones to it, but it's not super brown. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next one. This one here is called Bumble. This one's a really nice one. This was my first one that I fell in love with was Bumble. It's more of a reddish toned, brownish kind of color. It's almost on the edge of brick red, but it's got some brown in there, but it's not too loud for me. Uh, Viva La Juicy 3 says, if you ever tried the NYX soft matte lip creams, if you have, I would like your opinion. Yes, we're going to talk about soft matte lip creams in just a second. Uh, this is Solo. This is another one, or Solo, however you want to say it, that I absolutely love. 
love that one. That one is definitely a My Lips But Better one. Um, this one, this top one is called Ouija, if someone was wanting to know. I think Lisa was wanting to know that one, I think. I think that's the one you're talking about, Lisa. And then this one here is called Toll, and this is another beautiful one. It's kind of similar um, to the, uh, the one up here, but this one is a little bit more red tone. So those are all the ColourPop ones that I have. And again, I really love this formula. I can't help it. Um, I can't help it. I know that there's people that don't like it, but I love it. Now, the thing is, is one thing that I, I really want to stress about these, though, is definitely carry a lip balm in your pocket because it'll help uh, when you put it on. It'll kind of kill the matte effect, but it'll help it wear evenly because they do kind of tend to wear off a little weird. So, But if you throw a balm on, it just smooths it all out beautifully. Another thing I love about these is that they're so stinking opaque. Fourth one down. One, two, three, four. That one was clueless. Fourth one down is clueless. Um, but um <coughs> excuse me but um but yeah i mean i they what was they saying oh they wear off a little funky so um you just got to wear it put on a lip balm and it smooths out and then i was saying that they're very opaque so if i have any like 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 spots where my lips are like dry or like they're a little red or whatever in little spots if i put these on it's covered completely same thing with the kat von d covered completely sixth one down one two three four five six this one was uh solo or solo um, but yes, I love, love, love this formula. So let's go ahead and talk about the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have some of those. And uh, here's one. NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Okay, well, I found one. I know I have lots more. Here we go. Here's a couple more. Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have these in, this is Ibiza, I believe. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Antwerp and Zurich. Uh, these are the shades that I own. I do not like this formula. It goes on patchy for me. I don't enjoy it. Uh, compared to these where they don't go on patchy, these go on super patchy for me, and I don't I don't like them at all. Now, Anna Connie is talking about the NYX suede. Um, she says they're not worth it. It won't dry. And this is the thing about the NYX suede. I do have some NYX suede. Let's talk about those. Where are my Nick suede? I know I have some in here. Hold on a minute. Where are my Nick suede? Here, well, nope, that's not one. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Here are my suede. Okay, here are the Nick suede that I own. I own. Uh, let's see. Do they have them on the names of this? Life's a Beach, Soft Spoken. And tea and cookies. Those are the ones that I own. Um, these go on very, very nicely, but just like Annie said, they don't dry. They stay sticky, um, which is very uncomfortable to wear. But they're beautiful. They're opaque. But I don't. I really don't like um, that they stay tacky. Uh, it's not enjoyable to wear. So you can top these with a balm, and it kind of cuts down the tackiness a bit. But again, they never completely dry. So if you're aware of that and you're okay with that, you probably will like these. But I personally do not uh, enjoy these at all, as far as that, because it just bothers me. Absolutely, to Viva La Juicy, no problem. Um, let's see. Uh, Sandra says she exfoliates her lips two times a day with her Clarisonic. She doesn't know it will work for anyone else, but I feel it makes her lips soft. That is very interesting because I have issues with uh, my lips never being completely exfoliated. Like they, I always have issues with my lips. That's a great idea, Sandra. Thank you for that tip. Uh, Nikki says, yeah, I've swayed in vintage, getting my names messed up. I have too many lipsticks. Ha ha. <laughs> People at Juicy says, anyone have good opinions on the NYX butter glosses? Um, yes, the butter glosses are one of my favorite, if not my favorite lip formula. I absolutely love the NYX butter glosses. My friend uh, who lives, I have a friend who lives in Barbados that I met through the app Keek a while back. She still watches my videos. She's amazing. Her name's Lucinda. And she always laughs because they got the NYX butter glosses in Barbados and she had to get them because I raved about them so much in videos. And every time I talk about the NYX butter glosses, she's like, oh man, here goes Jen with the butter glosses again. <laughs> I absolutely love the NYX butter glosses. Uh, let me see if I have one right here. I do have one here. Now NYX butter glosses, they are glosses though. Uh, Krista, yes, I can see your post, sweetheart. I just can't. I'm not reading every single one over on the side because I'm trying to talk and seem functional at the same time. Um, Tabitha's talking about the, the Elf Lip Exfoliator, which is also amazing. It's really, really good. Um, 
Amy says she's looking at the blue and green lipsticks at ColourPop. There's no way. There's no way. I'm not buying one. I'm, it's it's not me. I, there's no way I would wear a blue lipstick unless it was Halloween. Then I would. But let's talk about the butter glosses. So this is the butter gloss and apple strudel. It is a gloss. I mean, you can see it's like it glosses out, but it has some color to it. So this was really nice for people that are just starting in lip color, that don't want something that's super opaque, want to have a nice shine on their lips. They smell amazing. They smell very, very sweet. Um, if you don't like scented stuff, you're not going to like them. But I really, really like the butter glosses. They stay on a nice time for gloss, and I do enjoy them. Um, Alessandra, I wanted to find, it says, I feel like the ColourPop gave me huge allergic reaction. Someone got that, like the ultra-dry peeling lips. I've heard that, Alessandra, from some people, that they do have um, the ultra-dry does give them like a reaction. I have heard that from people. I have not had that personal experience with it. Um, I've heard it from one other person. Just one but that that if it happens to one person it can happen to another person so yeah um, but they are very inexpensive so at least you're not out a whole lot of money I hope uh, Jean says does anyone have Nicole Guerrero's lip mask from best darn beauty I do not have that uh, yeah Flory I agree let's cheer on Amy and getting those uh, crazy lip colors let me get some coffee real quick Woo! Mm. Young, I'm just talking my face off over here. All right. Okay, Krista says she likes the intense butter glosses, but they will get everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you have to apply them. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I'm falling apart here. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the deeper shades, I think, are a little trickier to work with just because, you know, with lighter shades, it's easy to kind of put them on and you don't really notice if they go out of place a bit. But um, Minnie Mishi says the intense butter glosses are amazing too, especially the Trey Leche. That's her favorite. Very cool. Um, Amy's talking about the color pops were bad. I'm wondering what she didn't like about them, Amy. Evil of Juicy says, Jen, I'm in seventh grade and I wanted a tinted lip gloss to just throw on, so I'll probably try them. It's a really good one. It's definitely, I totally, if you're going to school, this is these are definitely a wonderful formula for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Mini Mishi, okay. Harry Potter mug, yes. <laughs> this is my... This is my favorite part of Harry Potter of all parts of Harry Potter was the Marauders map. It just I just this the concept of the Marauders map is just so stinking cool. Like I want a Marauders map. It says the Marauders map on the side. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's it's a Harry Potter thing and it says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. That's how you activate the map, but it's the sole reason why book 3 is my favorite. Um, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> Annie says she wears blue and purple on your lips. Go for it, girlfriend. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, let's see. Jean says Trey Leche is definitely a great shade. Uh, Flory says she loves rocking the purple lip, and you rock it very well. I see Flory on the app with her purple lip all the time. It looks amazing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's my fave. Okay. Before we move on, I do have some other liquid lipstick formulas that I wanted to speak about. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. These were not my favorites. I did not enjoy these. Um, the shade range, just like the Stila ones, is not super good for me personally. Um, I feel like they don't have any good, like like these, like these ColourPop ones. I don't have any good shades like that that I could get. Um, a lot of them were sold out when I tried to get them. Um, I think there's only like one or two. They just don't have a good color range, and the formula is very flaky on me. It's drying. It's flaky. It just doesn't work. Even with a lip gloss over top or a lip balm over top, they still wear terribly on me, and I cannot stand them. Like I just, I, I'm not. It's not against Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like I'm not trying to knock the brand. Love the eyebrow products, but I'm not a fan of their liquid lipsticks at all. These did not work for me. I have. Did I say what shades I have? I have spicy and I have Retro Coral, and I've worn these for filming before, uh, and then worn them for the rest of the day. I tried to wear this one to work, and it did not work for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Another brand that I want to talk about is Ofra. Um, if you don't know Ofra, I met Mr. Ofra at the um, at Generation Beauty, and he was awesome. And he said that he was the one four or five years ago to invent the first liquid lipstick. These are these really are amazing liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Angelus. It's a little bit of a freaky shade. It's very very light. But what I like to do with this one is I like to top this over shades that are too dark for me. Like let me put this over top of here. 
and show you how it transforms. It just makes it a really interesting shade. Did you see that? So I use this to transform other shades. Let me put it over the other one. Of course, I'm ruining my swatches for future reference, but watch what happens to it when I put that over top. Isn't that cool? So this is the, uh, this, it's, they should just call this the transformative liquid lipstick, this shade in Angelus. Um, it's, it's magical. It's magical to me. I, I love this thing. It's actually getting old. I need to purchase another one. Uh, and I, this was the first Ofra liquid lipstick I ever got. And I absolutely love it. It's got like a moussey texture to it. And it's not drying. Um, it's not moisturizing, but it's not drying. Uh, it doesn't, um, it doesn't last as long as some of the other liquid lipsticks that I own, but it really is nice. Uh, and then the smell, it smells like straight up cake, like cake, like vanilla cake. Um, but yeah, let me put um, the swatches next to it of these so you can see the original shades and how it transforms them. Put a little dot here. So it's almost like when I have this, it's almost like having a whole nother um, set of liquid lipsticks. Yeah, you see the difference? Isn't that cool? So cool, so cool. But anyway, I definitely could not leave this lip, this lip video without talking about the Ofra uh, liquid lipsticks too fat. Um, oh, okay. Um, Nikki says that, that Ofra is uh, is doing a collab with Dupe That, two highlighters. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Cool, man. I do love Ofra. Another one that I formerly that I wanted to talk about before we move on is the Show Off Lip Lacquers by Rimmel. Um, these, again, are not my favorite. They flake off on me, and I don't know why. It makes me want to cry. Like, I, I just, they're not enjoyable to wear. And if I remember right, I haven't worn it in a while. Remember right, they smell bad, too. Yeah, they smell terrible. They, they smell horrible. It's not a lipstick smell, but it's like a real makeup-y, nasty smell. Uh, these are definitely not my favorites. When they first came out, I know there was a lot of hype about how amazing these are, but I don't, I don't enjoy them. I have this shade. Um, I have three of them, obviously. I have Meteor, Me, Meteoric, Meteoric Matte, Aurora, and then I have... Uh, this one doesn't have the shade on it anymore. I accidentally ripped it off but it's the nudie one. But yeah, these are not my favorites. I don't like these at all. Um, some other ones that I just want to talk about before we move on from liquid lipsticks. The Sephora brands are amazing. <coughs> I really, really love, excuse me, I really love the Sephora brand liquid lipsticks. Also, the um, this brand right here, this is Mira Ness. I really like their liquid lipsticks. And then the LA Girl matte ones, they're just okay for me. I'm not... Um, not the biggest fan of these. Um, they're they're fine, but they're very 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 drying. Um, it's just it's this flat finished pigment gloss, and they are very very flat and very 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 dry. Um, and I just I don't know. Not the hugest fan of that. Not the hugest fan. Uh, let me see if there's any other formulas I haven't talked about. Um, I have a bunch of these J Cat Beauty Wonder lip paints. These are messy, but they're beautiful. Um, they're very opaque, they're, but they're really messy, really, really messy. I don't own any of the OCC lip tars. Uh, they're just the same packaging. They're not the same. The OCC lip tars are a lot more opaque. Um, Anna Kanye says the galactic dose of colors are supposed to be the best formulas ever. Anyone confirms I haven't tried it but wanted to. I haven't ever tried those. Um, dose of colors is very expensive. I haven't gotten anything from dose of colors. It's too expensive for me. It's past my, my, my price point. Um, the last one, actually, I want to show, talk about these because these were very popular for a while, um, were the Glaze Lip Paints by LA Girl. I wasn't a big fan of these either. Um, these are extremely opaque. They made my... I, I, I guess it's just the shade. The shade just wasn't very wearable for me. And I did have that drying, flaking thing happening with this. Just mm, not my favorite. Not my favorite. So that's kind of where I'm going with liquid lipsticks. Did I miss any? Is there anything else we want to talk about before we move on? Um, Jean says, I can never get the Sephora liquid lipsticks. They're always sold out by me. They are a really nice formula. Um, Sephora brand, I think people judge Sephora brand because Ulta brand is known to be not so hot, not such a great brand. But Sephora brand actually makes some really good stuff. But they also make some really bad stuff. So it's really hard to decide what to get from Sephora brand. Their eyeshadows are extremely in, uh, inconsistent. Uh, their lip products are inconsistent. But I do really like their matte liquid lipsticks. 
Uh, Krista says Joseph colors is hands down her favorite. They're expensive, but they last. They don't crumble. And she can eat oily salad dressing, and they still stay. That's amazing. Nikki says YouTuber Stephanie Nicole, who is awesome, all, reviews all the good lipsticks. They're very detailed check-in times, and she buys her own nothing PR. Yes, definitely check out YouTube channel Stephanie Nicole. Definitely recommend that one, Nikki. Thank you so much for mentioning her. She's amazing. People at Juicy 3, have you ever tried both the Revlon Lip Butters and Maybelline Color Whispers? If so, which do you prefer? Nice transition into the next topic. Uh, Maybelline Color Whispers. I do have some of those. Where are my Color Whispers? Okay, here are... Oh, these are the Pop Balms, the L'Oreal Pop Balms. Here is a Maybelline Color Whisper. This one is in... Uh, pin up peach, which is a very popular shade. Let's see if I can let's switch arms here Can I do left-handed swatches? We'll see. All right. This is pin up peach This is a my lips but better kind of shade. Um, they're very they're not opaque uh, The ones that I own they're not opaque. They're they're quite sheer, uh, but they're nice They're nice. They definitely give you some solid color where time is typical moisturizing is pretty nice, but not you know not super moisturizing, um, but wear time is not super long. No scent. No scent. I'm reading the comments over here. Dose of colors. I thought they were more expensive than $18 for some reason. Nikki says she doesn't like the color whispers, but only because they're so sheer. Yeah, I mean, you can see the difference between some of the things I'm swatching over here and the this one. Um, you know, it's definitely sheer. What was this one? I forget what that was. Oh, that was um, a nude lipstick by Too Faced. But that one's specifically nude. Um, but anyway, oh, and then this was Dolce Vita by NARS. So that's sheer like that. Um, it is, they are quite sheer. But they're nice. They're nice, um, especially if you're looking for something that is um, a little less opaque. Um, Alessandra says, um, Alexandra, excuse me, good morning, Jen. Flower Cosmetics has a nice sheer lip formula. That's good to know. I've never tried that, Alexandria. Great suggestion. Um, oh, we're talking about Leslie. Oh, okay. Oh, they're all talking about double posting. Okay, only seen comments once. I don't know what is going on with YouTube today as far as the chat window and everything coming up. Hopefully everything went okay as far as in the long run. Uh, Ner uh, that, blah, blah, blah. Tabitha says, I like the color whispers, but it's impossible to find one that someone hasn't used as a tester. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, what was the other formula we were talking about? It, was, it wasn't just those. You guys want to know about something else. Oh, I want to talk about these. These are the Maybelline, what are these things called? The elixirs. I thought I liked these, and then I realized that it's basically plastic for your lips. <laughs> I don't like them anymore. Oh, Minnie Mishi's leaving. Bye. Don't forget to go to Minnie Mishi's channel. She's got a wonderful YouTube channel. Go check her out. Um, Maybelline mats are also amazing, she wanted to say. She has to go. Um, these... These smell like straight up like flavored plastic and they they go on so incredibly patchy. I thought they were going to be more like liquid lipsticks, but they're heavy and thick and they smell terrible and they're just in my opinion, I do not enjoy these at all in case you didn't notice. They've got the the soft wand though. That's the thing that sucked me in. It made me think I liked it because this wand is so cushy. It feels like it's giving your lips like this nice little beautiful little hug and then you, it hits you with the smell and stickiness and the bleh and blech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't enjoy these in case you didn't notice. I don't enjoy them. I don't know why I still have these things when I don't enjoy things. Why do I keep them? So that I can tell you that I don't enjoy them. That's why I keep them. <laughs> um, let's see. This was, oh, no, hold on a minute. Not that. Here's another one. This one is in, I don't know, the number, it's number 360, I think. Five, no, wait, 95. <laughs> I can flip it over. This is another one. I can't see what the shade is because it's rubbed off at this point. But it's just, they're very, um, they're glossy. They're not, um, they're like trying to be, not trying to be, but they're in the same family as the NYX Butter Glosses, but they're not nearly as good because they're heavy and thick and sticky. Um, let's see, Shannon says she loves the Urban Decay Gloss in Liar. It's quite opaque, smells good, and the perfect, your lips look better for pale girls. Awesome. Um, Dan says Provocalypse. Ooh, that's an interesting name. I don't know that one. Uh, Minnie Mishi says loves the high voltage. Oh, okay. Awesome. Very cool. And then um, 
uh, Tabitha says, what's the deal with lipstick smelling weird? It must be something in the formula because different brands, they'll all smell like that lipstick smell. Like how do you get that lipstick smell? What's the ingredient that smells like the lipstick smell that's in so many lipstick? I don't even know. Oh, Leslie, I'm sorry. Well, at least you'll get to watch it on replay if you want to. You, and you can fast forward if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about I have a bunch of these. I talked about your lips, but better with these stick things. Oh, no, my battery's running low. Okay, this is what I got to do. Okay, I didn't realize I forgot to plug in my computer. So if anybody comes in, tell them I'm going to get my charger, and I'll be right back. If you're watching this on replay, just fast forward until you see me come back. So hold on a second, because my computer will die. Let me just plug this in real quick. I forgot to plug it in. Hold on. Hold on. Almost there. Plugging in. Because I do not want this to die. That would be terrible. All right. Okay. Let's check in on my framing real quick and just make sure I'm looking okay. Yep. We're still looking okay. Hair's looking okay. Eyebrows are non-existent. All right. I think I just got lip gloss all in my hair. Okay. I know. Thank you. Thank you for the music. The uh have this going la 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 la. Hold on music. I know we need to like some elevator music. Exactly, people are juicy. Absolutely. Um, all right. I wanted to talk a little bit about these stick formulas. I have all these stick formulas of lip products, all these things, these sticky thingies, and which ones are my favorites and which ones are your favorites, all these sticky things. There's so many of them. Like, why do I own so many? I don't know. What is the purpose of all these? Why do they exist in my life? I don't even know. All right. So let's start off with ColourPop. I can tell you the color pop is, I, I don't, I can't even, I, I, I hate that I'm saying this because I feel like it sounds like I'm sponsored, but I'm not. Hashtag not sponsored. Where's Steph? Um, I love the color pop lippy sticks. I absolutely love them. I am not the biggest fan of their eyeshadows and their, um, their bronzers, but I love their highlighters. I love their blushes and I love their lip products. Um, they're just amazing. They're, they're really, they're moisturizing. They don't have a super long lasting power. I mean, it's pretty good for a lipstick formula, but they're, they're really nice. I really like them a lot. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, Nikki's saying she loves the Clinique Chubby Sticks. She doesn't know why. I don't own any of those. I really should, though. Um, so I have quite a few shades of these. I'm not going to swatch them all, but just to know which ones I have. I have Fern, or, or should I swatch them? Do you want me to swatch them? Should I swatch them? I'm dropping all my stuff. I'm going to put all this stuff back in because I'm just going to end up dropping it all on the floor. <laughs> That's not going to be good either because my lamp is just not big enough for my lip products. Let me get all my color pops. I guess I can swatch them real quick. Oh, Kathy, it was nice to meet you too. She likes Camp Cosmet Cosmetics Lip Lavas. Those are the ones that Kristen Game worked with was Camp Cosmetics. I don't know any of those. Um, Kristen says she loves ColourPop's lippy, lippy sticks. They're amazing. Color selection is awesome. That's very true. Viva La Juicy wants me to swatch them. All right, we're going to swatch them. Okay, these are the ones that I have. I have these here. We'll swatch them on this arm. This one is called Juice Bar. I don't know if I've ever worn this one. I think I have. I think I have. Let's put them, let's put them on the inside just like we did with the other ones. So that is Juice Bar. And it's just a kind of like a bright, bright purpley pink. Okay, and then we'll do this one is called I Heart This. And this one I know I've never worn. I don't know why I've never worn. Well, that's why, because it's ridiculously opaque and bright. Um, and they scare me. They still scare me. I try to have them not scare me, Sandra, but they do scare me. So um, Juice Bar is a little more sheer. You can see the difference between the two. This is Juice Bar and this is I Heart This. Um, this is definitely a little more sheer. Uh, this one is considered a matte, I Heart This. And then this one is considered uh, a sheer. It's called sheer. So they tell you that before you buy it. 
Um, Nikki says she only has tiger and it's really pretty. Um, and then this one here is called fern and it's a cream. I try to get, uh, when I buy things for review, I try to get things that are um, different formulas so you guys can see the different formulas. I think I've worn fern once and I really liked it a lot. Uh, when it was out of my um, out of my comfort zone, ColourPop lippies have good stain. Um, for a lip, for a regular lipstick formula, I feel like they have good stain, but they're not like this. If you want something to last forever, you want to get the liquid lipsticks. These will last a long time, but it's not like it's not like these. It's not like these. These will be on me for the next three days. Like even if I scrub my arm, they'll be on me in the next three days. Same thing with the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. All right, this one is one I wear a lot. It's called Lumiere, and it was the it's the Kathleen Lights one. And I personally really like Lumiere. I know I've heard some people don't like Lumiere. I like Lumiere. I think it's a beautiful shade. And it has nothing to do with Kathleen Lights. Um, it's just a it's a gorgeous shade, and it's just it's a it's a me shade. It's a shade that I love. It's kind of a purpley mauvey kind of color um, with a little bit of brown undertones. And this one is a, a matte finish. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, Alexander says ColourPop's LBB is her favorite for fall. Nikki says she loves the matte and the satin most. And he says, just do it. Bright lips suit you all. Thank you so much. Uh, Dan says when Jen wore a Ouija, it was, it was gorgeous. Bright colors suit her so much. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And he says she lives for Lumiere. Same one compared Lumiere to Contempo. They look so similar online. I don't have Contempo. I would if I could. This is one that I wear all the time. It's called Bound. This is another one that's a very me shade. Like you can see, like it's like similar to the me shades over here. It's just like a, a creamy, pinky, mauvey kind of color. Love that one. Lumiere is beautiful and it yeah but but the thing is is if it's matte you just put a gloss over top and it's not matte anymore like seriously just put a lip balm over top just a regular lip balm or a lip gloss or whatever and you'll be fine uh Lumiere is supposed to be a dupe for NARS and I don't have that one Sandra says you have bright lips and you can rock a strong color but I completely understand the comfort zone factor in choosing a color all oh, thank you so much Sandra's my cheerleader when it comes to uh lip products uh Viva Lugio 3 says she has bound and she loves it and then Krista says, I definitely prefer to, prefer to buy one third of a lipstick for $5 in a full size. I'm a lipstick addict. Yes. And then Krista says she loves Bound. It's amazing. This one is called Topanga and it's a satin finish. I haven't worn this one too much. I don't know why. It's a beautiful corally kind of shade. Corally, orangey, reddish kind of shade. I really like that one. I don't know why I don't wear it. It's very pretty. And then the last one I have here is called Button. And this is another shade that I wore a lot in the, the uh, summertime. Love this one for summer. There you go. So that one, again, is called Button, and it is a satin finish. So really love this formula. It's fantastic. Um, the smell, it, it, there is a scent to it. If you don't like scented lip products, you won't like these because there is a scent. But to me, it's not overpowering. It's a nice, subtle scent. All right, we've got 10 minutes left. What do we want to talk about for 10 minutes? Um, let's see. Shannon says Lumiere is gorgeous, but it go looks so much darker on me than other people, probably because of my skin tone. Let me tell you something really interesting. Very interesting. So, um, wait, where are they? Where are my Bite Beauty lipsticks that, um, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. My Bite Beauty lipsticks. I had to, I have to put things on the floor when I film. Okay. I think that hopefully this one's it. Please be the right one. Please be the right one. Yes. Okay. So, let me tell you something about skin tone and shades, okay? It makes a huge, huge difference. And um, Yesenia, if you're still here, she, she and I went to the Bite Beauty Labs in New York City. And when we went there, we, what, basically what they do there is they design a lipstick for you. I have a video coming out of our experience there where they take a color. They, they say, well, where do you want to start? What kind of color are you looking for? And they slap a color down. And then they start mixing other colors in and trying different shades until you come up with your perfect lip shade. So this one right here is one that I made. Um, and I, this is my favorite. I absolutely love this. This is like gorgeous. Actually, is this the right one now? I think this is the darker one, but anyway, point is we, we, hopefully I'll, let me see if I can find the right one because the story is ruined. If I can't find the right one, come on, on a minute. Cause it's a little bit lighter. Hold on. Where is my lipstick? Ah, I'll find it. As soon as I'm done with you guys, I'll find it. 
Okay, so anyway, let me just tell the story. So point is, is that um, Yesenia is of a deep, like a medium skin tone, but it's like, I'm, I'm like considered medium, but she's like a tan, like a, like a deep tan kind of skin tone. Um, her last name is Cuevas, okay? Let's just leave it at that. So we tried on the exact same lipstick, and I'm telling you, it looked brown on me, it looked pink on her. It looked straight up pink, and you'll be able to see it in the video. It's crazy. So whenever you're looking for lip swatches, Please, please, please make sure you try to find somebody that has your skin tone. That's why I love the ColourPop website because they all have, um, they have the, the things are all swatched, all the lip products are swatched on multiple different skin tones because they do look quite different on different skin tones. So please, 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 when you're looking at um, swatching things online, you're looking at swatches, look for someone that has a similar skin tone to you. There are swatches on all different skin tones. Um, it seems like there's more, pe more uh, swatches on skin tones that are more like my skin tone, which is sad. So jump on there. If you have a deeper skin tone, when you get lip products, swatch them and put them online so people can find them uh, because it really is important to find your skin tone to see an accurate color of what it's going to look like on you. And I learned that with this, with Yesenia this past weekend of how different it looked on both of us. So let's see. Annie says, who else is swatching on their arms along with Jen? I know, right? Uh, Krista said, you're giving me, um, you're getting the Sephora, give me more lips. Uh, am I getting the Sephora, give me more lip set? Probably not. Um, just because I'm kind of overflowing with lip products right now. And I just did a review on a lip set. So I feel like I can't really review another one at this point. Um, so I probably won't get this one. Um, Sienna says, yeah, Yesenia has gorgeous Latin skin. I'm so envious. It is year-round tan, like gorgeousness. Um, Jay Nesta. Jeanette. Jeanette. All right. Any kind of lip stain turns my lips bright pink no matter what color. One initial color is weird. Huh? That is weird. I've never heard of that. That's weird. Lisa says, just picked up uh, my bliss decks to put on. Uh, are, wait. False lashes stuck to the top. Oh, no. <laughs> and he says, I thought of the ColourPop immediately and for julep, julep for nail polish. Um, oh, as far as the different skin tones, yes, Julep has the different um, skin tones for the nail polishes. Um, Redhead PhD, hello. She says, Pinterest is a good place to search for swatches that aren't restricted to English-speaking blog. That is really smart. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that because I didn't even think about going to Pinterest specifically to look for swatches for things. That's really smart. Uh, Nikki says, I really like the Sephora Rouge lip stain uh, for just a really nice lip stain. That's true. I really like that one too. I got one in the Little Gimme lip set and I really liked it a lot. Um, and it is just a stain. It's not opaque, um, but it gives your lips that nice color. So let's see. What else can we talk about? Should we talk about lip gloss for a few minutes? Because we haven't really talked too much about lip gloss in general. And this is the thing about lip gloss. I made a joke about lip gloss in a video like two years ago where I did. It was something about, you know, things people will never say about your makeup. And the joke was, oh, my goodness, that lip gloss looks so expensive. <laughs> because really and truly, lip gloss is a lip gloss is a lip gloss. It's glossing up your lips. It's you don't need to spend a stupid amount of money on lip gloss like I have, I have this naked one, which I'm very happy that I have. It's called Love Child. And I really like it. But is there any difference between this and my NYX matte, um, not matte, my NYX butter glosses? No. It's a tiny bit more opaque. But other than that, I mean, it's not as big of a big enough difference for, for the price difference, in my opinion, even though it is a very nice gloss. One thing that I did want to talk to you about that's really, really nice are these, um, the Laura Geller Air Whipped Lip Wears. These things are so awesome. I really like these a lot. These, I feel like, stand out. Um, they're more of a liquid lipstick for me. They remind me a lot of the Ofra ones um, in the moussey kind of texture to them. Again, they don't have a super long lasting power, but they're really gorgeous and they smell amazing. Um, this one is called uh, Sweet Candy Mousse and it's got a little bit of gold glitter in it. So I like to wear this one um, in the fall and around the holidays and things where I try and get a little more fancy. Um, but but yeah, I mean, it, most lip glosses, you don't need to spend a ton of money. One that's a perfect example of lip glosses you don't need to spend a lot of money on are these Stila ones. These Stila ones are so stinking ordinary. They're really ordinary. They're sticky. They're, they're color, they have a little bit of a color to them, but they're ordinary. There's nothing magical about these lip glosses. Nothing. Except for the click pen. If you want to hear the click pen, you're good to go. But if you don't care about the click pen, it's like they're super, super, super uber sticky, uber sticky. Um, Dan, says she, uh, Dan says he hates lip gloss and warned um, he, 
He says, I, I have worn it for a show and just no. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Tabitha says, boo, gloppy lip glosses. Yes, Shannon says, I love Buxom lip creams. They're basically glosses, but not too sticky. Buxom lip creams are very nice. And the Buxom lip glosses, they have that mintiness to them that a lot of people really like, that plumpingness, that mintiness um, that is difficult to find in a, uh, in a drugstore version. But again, they're just glosses in the end. So you're really just paying for that little mintiness. Nikki says, I used to be a lip gloss only girl and now don't wear them anymore. Now I'm a matte and lipstick kick. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep, definitely. I used to just wear glosses too. Jenny says, amen to a gloss is a gloss. And then Alexander says, I'm a big fan of the Lorac lip glosses, but I basically don't wear any other glosses. You know, I've never tried a Lorac lip gloss. Now I must, Alexandria. Thank you so much for that. Anya says, I don't like lip gloss. Only uh, only one I like are the NYX butter glosses. If I get any in my sub boxes, I can give them away. Yep. Um, Sandra says, agreeing lip gloss is a lip gloss. Um, um, Viva La Juicy 03 says Revlon has good lip glosses. They do. They do. If you need a lip gloss, where are my Revlons? I've got some Revlons in here. Is this a Revlon? Yep. Revlons are nice. This one is in the shade Pink Pop. Look at my arms. You want to think I'm crazy. We're going somewhere after this. You want to think I'm nuts. All right. Yeah, these are not super sticky, but, you know, it's a gloss. It's a nice gloss. And the smell isn't horrible. It's not great. But it's not horrible. Definitely not the best snow in the world. But they're not super sticky. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wore Bath and Body Works lip glosses, Anna Connie says, for about 10 years, only glosses and moved on. I didn't even realize they had lip glosses. Um, Tabitha says, Lily wants me to say hello to everyone. She regrets her comments are disabled. Oh, no. I don't know how that happened to Lily. Lily Spurgeon, my friend, my uh, my other producer, along with Nerdling Full, who's Tabitha B. Um, Shannon... Duchess is her favorite Lorac one. That's good to know. Now I want to go to Ulta and go get some Lorac lip glosses. I need to get one of those lip gloss sets. And then Krista says that Revlon's 40% off this week at Rite Aid. Yay. And then Lee, um, Lee says, hi, Lily. Sorry, your comments aren't working. Um, let me see. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, the Marvelous Moxie lip glosses. This is a weird one. I forget where I got this one. I must, I got, oh, I got this in that, um, that set that I got. It was like a $30 mystery set. Um, these are similar to the Buxom ones. This is a really odd shade it's like a metallic brown these are very very sticky the scent smells like um mint chocolate um but it looks beautiful on the lips they're just sticky they're just sticky 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 um what else oh you know what i do have some Lorac glosses i am dumb i just haven't used them in a while i have i got this set see i got the wrong ones though because i all i got i got this as a gift set and they're all super glittery and I just, I, I don't do glittery lip glosses because it looks weird. So I don't know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that wasn't very smart of me. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, let me see. Anything else that I want to talk about before we go? Because it's time to go. Uh, NARS lip glosses. NARS lip glosses, I feel like they are just as good as some of the other ones. I mean, I know some people freak out over NARS lip glosses. This one is in Super Vixen, Super Vixen. And it's a nice gloss. It's a really nice gloss. But is it better than the Revlon ones and the NYX ones? I don't think so. It's a gloss. Smell? Doesn't smell good. Doesn't smell good. Doesn't smell good. I haven't used this one in a while. I haven't used this one since last year. So I think it was last year. I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't remember wearing this on my lips. But I've worn other NYX lip glosses on my lips. And... It's a gloss, it's a gloss, it's a gloss. All right, my friends, it is now 11 o'clock exactly. I'm going to the pumpkin farm with my kids, and I got to go get ready. So it was really nice talking to you guys today about lip products. I hate to cut it off so quick, but today I know we got to get going to the pumpkin farm. I'm excited to go eat some apple fritters and pick some apples. I'm actually going to be periscoping from the farm. So um, as long as everybody agrees that we're going, because we've all been kind of sick, so hopefully everybody will be going. <laughs> we're all going to decide to go. We can't leave the kids behind. Um, we're going to be periscoping from the farm. So if you're not following me on Periscope, it's a Twitter company. It's an app. You um, you have to log on with your phone number, though. That's the only thing that's a little bit weird with Periscope. You have to log on with your phone number, but it's totally worth it, man. It is such a fun app. Um, and it's not just not just for me, but just to click around the, the world, not even just the country, but the world, and see what people are doing in different countries. I watched it. My favorite one that I've watched was a little kid in Africa, washing the dishes with his mom and singing and dancing. That was my favorite Periscope that I randomly clicked on. It was 
awesome. Uh, I watched the fireworks in Disney in California. Um, you know, I mean, you can see all, it's like, it's a, it's a little periscope into people's lives and it's just so fun. So please, please, please come join us on periscope. It is really is a lot of fun. Uh, we, I do getting ready with me every, uh, at least four days a week Four at least four days a week, usually five days a week in the mornings. I also cook at least three days a week, three nights a week. Um, and that's really fun. And you guys help me to cook. Um, and we've had a lot of experiences there. So come join me on Periscope today. Uh, that's where this is going to kind of continue. You can also go to the Facebook page, which is linked on the What's Up and Makeup website, which is whatsupandmakeup.com. Um, you can also go to What's Up and Makeup app, which is available for Apple and Android if you want to keep chatting. Um, and there's also on the website, there's a forum where there's a whole section about lips for us to just have good discussions and post the stuff for permanent so that we can use it to go back as reference to see what our favorite lip products are. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a day as beautiful as you are because you guys are just such beautiful, wonderful people and I, you deserve to have the best day ever. Thank you so much for being here. Mad love and I'll see you soon. Bye. My, my bye looks weird with all the swatches. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.